What is up you guys? Truthfully, I don't even know if I want to do this video right now, but I've been feeling called. So I need to put something on my lips. What's that song? And then the lips, lips, lips. Something ludicrous. <laughs> Anyways, I started this diet in May 20th. And I feel like it took so long for me to finally just come to a comfortable place with it and be okay with it because my body went through an experiment with this, okay? Anybody that was like, oh yeah, I went carnivore, I went animal-based, and it was just such an easy transition. And lucky you, because I had trouble. EDs come up again. I had some relapses. I'm gonna be so honest with this video. I feel like when people talk about like animal-based and carnivore diet and stuff, very glorified on people that support it. And I get it because I am gonna continue eating like this for the rest of my life. Not 100% strict because there are things that I also noticed on my own that I needed to tweak and I support it but can everybody just switch over comfortably I don't think so if I had help if I had a support group could have been a little bit smoother absolutely didn't want to do all that you know and so also I literally used myself as a guinea pig for the last three months uh my body changed my health changed and we're gonna break all of that down but I want to keep it very simple and straightforward when I first decided to do this video I was like I'm gonna get all the resources that I studied all the doctors that I followed all the studies that they talked about all this stuff and it just started getting way too fucking complicated because this diet it goes against everything you know at the end of the day I think I just need to keep this on my experience and what I noticed and what I saw and whether you agree with it or not to be honest I don't give a fuck because I feel amazing my body looks amazing and I started taking all these notes of things that I noticed things that I noticed my body was doing since the beginning talked about this before where I got my certificate in personal training for a little bit studied nutrition a lot I was a gym rat back then tracking everything I ate all the calories all the macros cutting bulking doing the you know all the very textbook shit it was miserable for me my body is <laughs> whether well, it's a mindset thing when I start counting calories i binge and i'm gonna give you a little like background on my body if you don't know i am so so susceptible to falling into eds and body dysmorphia because i grew up with it throughout this experiment i like relapsed and i had a lot of issues and i had a lot of difficulties transitioning because my mindset was being so challenged and my body was being so challenged i'm telling you it was not a smooth process for me it started smooth and then it wasn't and then it finally was so i did this because i wanted to heal my body but also because of the physical appearance of my body push my body a little bit more because i've been working out for years and years and years and i've been stuck on a plateau my diet before is like i used to eat a ton of vegetables I tried to get high protein chickpea pasta protein bars protein powders i have this video where it's like my morning routine and i completely none of that applies to me when it comes to the food that i eat now in the morning Although that diet worked for me for quite a long time, I don't know what it is. I just noticed my body was not liking it anymore. I was having major bloating. I was having really bad stomach pains. I was just not feeling good. I am someone that has struggled with insomnia since I was a baby. And then I've talked about this where I got COVID like three years ago. And post COVID, doctors have been absolutely no help. My hormones went absolutely wild. And so my periods were coming every two weeks. I was having really irregular short periods and and I just was not feeling good. I first stumbled upon the carnivore diet. It's like you only eat meat, eggs, butter, salt, and that's it. And some people stick to that and it works amazing for them. There are people like Paul Saladino who started with carnivore and then started going more into an animal-based diet. I think carnivore is great when you're using it as an elimination diet. I think depending on your body, it might be different on how strict you might want to be. Some people just have intense sensitivities to certain foods and illnesses that really only get resolved when they're on a strict carnivore diet. If that works and that healed you and you're off all your medications, that's incredible. For me, the carnivore diet started becoming a little bit too intense. And I remember the very first first carnivore meal that I had and it was for dinner time I remember I got hooked after that first meal because I went for a walk after and I felt so good. My energy was here. I didn't feel any bloating whatsoever. Like I, it was like as if I didn't eat and I just felt good. And I remember being like, oh my God, this is crazy how different I feel from the meals that I was eating with like a ton of vegetables, a ton of like colors and da 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 da, -da right? I'm gonna cut out all processed sugars. I'm gonna cut out all sugars in general. So I was doing that for a few days and these are the first few things that I started noticing. I was waking up like shredded because carbs, it holds on to water. I wasn't introducing any carbs, any sugar. Also, let's keep in mind, there are people who argue it's just calories in, calories out. There are people who argue 
it's the insulin spike and all this and that. I think it's a mix of both. I think calories in, calories out does matter. So the people that are like, oh, I can eat as much as I want, as long as I'm not eating carbs, I won't gain weight. I don't think that's real at all. But I think the where your calories are coming from, the quality of your calories, I think make a huge difference because they get metabolized differently. They tell your body to do different things, right? For instance, when you have carbs and stuff, this is when your insulin glucose level spikes and that's when you kind of store the fat, whatever. But then there's also the argument where for the people that are like, you need carbs, there's this thing called gluconeogenesis where your body turns proteins and fats into the glucose and carbs that your body needs. So the argument is that you don't actually need carbs, but your body can't produce protein and fats. But then you have people like Paul Saladino who come in and he's like, I, I was so sure carnivore. And after a long time, I started feeling not well. He started reintroducing carb, the animal-based diet, still the carnivore base, but now he only eats fruits, no veggies, zucchini, avocado, squash, strawberries, honey, because the glucose spikes, it's not like the devil how a lot of people can make them sound. So in terms of who's right, I think it's what works for you. I noticed that when I was eating more carnivore, even though technically I was eating more calories than I was when I was eating all the vegetables and stuff, I was losing the water weight really fast and I was looking more and more shredded every morning that I woke up. And you can be like, oh, you weren't counting, right? You weren't, no, 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 bitch. I told you, I had a scale, everything. I was counting right, okay? I, I've done this shit for so long. I had ED for so long, I was counting right. But then with an animal-based diet, I didn't count, but because of this fear of gaining weight and eating too many calories, in the beginning, my portions were probably less than what I needed in a carnivore diet. In the beginning, your body is just finally getting exactly what it's needing, that now your body is just like hungry. It was crazy. That was really hard. And like I said, in the beginning, smooth. And then the hunger came. My body was like, I want more of this, more, more, more of this. And I think your body, we don't give enough credit to our body. And I think your body knows what it needs. Sometimes your hunger can be up because of time in your cycle, because you're not sleeping enough. And so your leptin and ghrelin hormones get kind of like out of whack. Could be because you are eating a ton of sugar, a ton of carbs. I don't know. But your body is only reacting as a result. So my body started getting so hungry and hungry and hungry. And like I said, my hormones got so out of whack. Like I didn't really prioritize fat. But the thing is, especially as women, high fat is your friend. My body was just craving the butter. My body was crave, like just craving. That really triggered the ED for me. And that was really hard for me to manage because I was like, I want to stick to this and I want to listen to my body. And I kind of want to honor what my body is asking for. I'm getting scared of gaining weight. I'm getting scared of how this is going to turn out. I was eating maybe, and I still do today, probably like 150 grams of protein a day, which is a lot. And I was like drinking electrolytes because now your body doesn't have the carbs to hold onto water. So you need the electrolytes and the salt. The way that I work out, I do some heavy lifting. I do some yoga, Pilates. The way that my body was reacting, my muscles growing. I already am somebody genetically that if I want to bulk the fuck up, I see me in three months, I can look like a fuck a bitch up, you know? That is how my body is. That's the first thing that I noticed. My ass was growing like crazy. I saw the physique building. Then it got to a point where I was eating a lot of calories. Cause like I said, I was like, I'm just gonna kind of honor my cravings. I was gaining the weight and I was bulking up like really, really fast, especially because now I'm getting really pure protein. I'm getting the creatine from the red meat. Besides the physical aspect, my sleep, I was sleeping. Falling asleep was really hard because I just felt so wired all the time because of this diet, I was like boom, 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 like wired. But when I fell asleep, I was sleeping. And that is something that I was struggling with for so long. Another thing is my skin, my dark circles, glowing. But then, like I said, the glucose withdrawal, I started getting like the headache. Like it's like literally I was having a withdrawal to sugar because now your body is kind of adapting to using fat for fuel because you're not introducing the carbs. Your body primarily uses carbs for fuel. I had the fatigue and the cravings for sugar. I stuck through it and it's slowly getting better and better, especially the headache and the brain fogs. I started being like, I'm gonna introduce one vegetables at a time. Had broccoli, oh my God, I don't really eat broccoli anymore. Immediately, I got a headache really bad bloating. I know it sounds insane, right? Like vegetables are good for you. But vegetables have this thing called an anti-nutrient. It's how they protect themselves from bugs and stuff in nature. Um, so spinach and stuff like that, there's a lot of oxalates. So the argument with these diets is that when you eat like same vegetables every single day, these anti-nutrients build up in your body. And at one point it starts to cause issues. And I am not the only one that has said this. I'm not saying they're bad for you because then there are the people who are like, well, that's why you're meant to mix it up, not eat the same things every day. It's like, you want to keep the microbiome in your stomach like get adapted i've been eating that way for years my body at some point did not agree with that diet anymore do i avoid it at all costs no if i feel like having it i'll have it here and there i'm getting all the nutrients from the butter the eggs the steak the meat sometimes 
I eat seafood. The supplements that I was taking, even with the protein powders, protein bars, don't touch them anymore. I, my one thing with this entire diet is I don't want to be too strict. Maybe having ice cream here and there. My bigger focus is I wanted to cut out processed foods. Uh, ever since I started getting less and less strict, my sleep got a little worse again. When I fall out of my more clean eating with the animal-based diet, I feel it because my sleep gets compromised. I feel it because of the energy that my body has. I don't let those things get to me too much because being too healthy and too strict can cause sickness. It's a stress. These fake sugars, like chemicals that, that really fuck up your gut, like they're not good for you. Am I gonna let myself enjoy it sometimes when I'm craving it? Yeah, getting the high amount of fat and the proper nutrients that it needs. My periods are getting more regular and more regular. Whereas like before I said it was coming every two weeks and it was really short. But the thing is, ever since I started this diet, I gained like five to seven pounds. But my physique, I look more fit and more toned. So it's like what I was saying where my muscles just like built up so much, but I definitely lost some fat along this process. So this diet, I realized it just makes body recon really effortless. I just need to add this little edit because I don't want to re-record this entire video. Probably a huge difference that I've seen that people have noticed around me. Any bloating in my face was gone. Any swelling that I was having, all the carbs that I was eating, the rice, all the pasta, all the vegetables, all the stuff that my body wasn't agreeing with, was just causing this bloating in my face that I wasn't aware of. Another one for my girls out there. He even I've been told. <laughs> My boobs, they grew. And I'm not talking about like, when I gained weight, my boobs grew. No, they're full. Your energy levels are up, 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 and consistent throughout the day. There's no crash, there's no grogginess, there's no sluggishness. Your breath doesn't smell. And for the people that are worried about like these protein farts, when you're eating like clean protein like that, your shit don't stink, all right? So last pointer that I think is so important to talk about is that your mental health, you notice a huge shift. I don't think in America we talk enough about how food and your gut health affects your mental health because everything here is poison. All the fake sugars, pesticides and shit, it ruins your gut health and it has everything to do with your mental health. So the amount of people that you see that start talking about how their depression improved a lot, how a lot of their mental health improved, I definitely also noticed that. Your body odor like disappears and my nails have been growing astronomically quick. Like same with my hair, like this shit's about to touch my ass. So basically how do I eat now? And is what I was saying, where it's like a more flexible animal-based diet. And yeah, my sleep and stuff gets compromised, but I'm also focusing on my mental health. One thing I want to add on here is that some people go into this animal-based diet and getting a lot of their fats from dairy, whether that's from cheese, from raw milk, or just milk or whatever. If I incorporate too much dairy, especially when it's like not clean, I get allergic reaction and I would get some acne. You look at the experience that people are having, all the anecdotes that people are sharing, that have started this diet, how many people have stopped the medication that they're taking. You just start to question like, what is real? And when you look at the people that are funding these studies, so many of it is also very biased, you know? So it's hard to know what to trust. And that's why for me, I chose to trust the anecdotes of people, to trust the experience and the results that I was seeing, to trust these doctors that were changing their own patients' lives. So I hope this video was helpful, but if you have any questions whatsoever, if you wanna talk about it, my DMs are always open, my comments are always open. So please do share and let me know and let me know your thoughts on this if you have an opinion on this even if you don't agree with me you know but don't be an asshole bye guys